Service and NOAA Fisheries. Gentlelady's time has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Wisconsin. Mr. Tiffany, you're recognized for five minutes. Welcome, Secretary Holland. Uh, yesterday, the National Park Service Director Chuck Sams testified that $200 million from the Inflation Reduction Act for deferred maintenance had been transferred to the Presidio Trust at the direction of the Department of Interior's Assistant Secretary. Did you direct anybody in your senior leadership to tell the National Park Service Director to transfer $200 million in IRA funds to the Presidio Trust? Thank you so much for the question. And um, it was our understanding, um, Congressman, that that was the intent of Congress at the time. And so that is why we did that. So um, actually, uh, Director Sams testified in regards to that point that you just made, that it did not follow the established process, that he understood it to be congressional intent that uh, despite the fact in the IRA that does not explicitly state this funding will be used for the Presidio, he understood it to be congressional intent. Yes, we understood it to be congressional intent. That is correct for the Presidio funding. So um, did you or anybody in senior leadership have conversations with Speaker Pelosi's office about this? No, I did not have any conversations with Speaker Pelosi's office, but we, we understood it to be congressional intent. Um, we are, we, I mean, these are public lands that belong to all Americans. We, we want to do the best job possible. So is Director Sams lying to us? He said this was done at the direction of the Department of Interior's Assistant Secretary. That's what he said yesterday. Uh, no, he's, uh, thank you for the question. And um, the Assistant Secretary, of course, is understood that it was, I'm, I'm not under sure if I understand your question correctly, but we understood that it was congressional intent for this funding to go to the Presidio, which is um, public lands and belonging to every single American. Uh, and I believe that is how the Assistant Secretary but the language did not say it's explicitly uh, in the IRA. It does not explicitly state this funding shall be used for Presidio. How did, how did you know it was congressional intent then if it didn't explicitly say that? We, I, I, I mean, I'm ha we're happy to get back with you on any absolute specifics so why don't to do, we do with this it, issue. Sure, sorry to interrupt. I gotta mm -hmm. move on to some other questions here. Um, mm -hmm. I would really appreciate that. We wanna do some follow-up on this because there's clearly two answers that are in conflict here. I will say this though, uh, in conclusion in regards to this issue, is um, NPS to us stands for the National Park Service. Uh, we're very concerned that this has become Nancy's Park Service with a quarter of the funding for deferred maintenance going to one representative's district. One out of 435 got a quarter of the funding for deferred maintenance. What does that do to the rest of our national parks? Um, would you agree that in any good faith negotiation, it's important for all parties to know the fair value of what is at stake? You know, so when parties are negotiating that everything be on the table, right? Would you agree with that? I'm not, well, uh, in what respect, so Mr. Tiffany? If it, you want to make sure that all the information's on the table, and then you can have a good faith negotiation. That's generally too true, would you agree? Sure. Yeah. So are you aware of the ongoing situation in my district between the Lacto Flambeau tribe and town residents? Uh, I am familiar with it, yes. Uh, somewhat familiar. I've read several articles, and I know that um, our Assistant Secretary for Indian Affairs went to... Uh, Wisconsin to speak with the tribe, and I know that uh, they've been working hard to get a resolution. Does the department the plan to release the appraisals for the four roads in question? Uh, I sent a letter on January 31st, and they won't release the appraisals. Are you going to plan release the appraisals? Thank you. Um, according to our solicitor, um, we are not at liberty to release those um, appraisals, um, and of course, we follow so, the advice of our attorneys and. So, so how do you have an, a negotiation that works in good faith if you can't have the appraisals out in front of you? I ask that as a rhetorical, uh, rhetorical question. Do you support 
the tribe, and I would emphasize, this is the tribal council. There are many tribal members in Lac du Flambeau that do not agree with what happened here. Do you support the tribe putting barricades on the roads like they did at the end of January when it was 25 below? We had a record setting winter uh, for snow, um, stranding 65 people. Do you support the, tr uh, the tribal council putting barricades on those roads when they went up? Congressman, um I know I don't need to tell you this, but we understand that, and, and I know you know this too, that the Lac de Flambeau is a sovereign Indian nation, and uh, we don't actually have, uh, we can't mandate that they do, do anything or not do anything. Uh, but what we have done is we've worked to try to resolve the issue. And uh, as I mentioned, Assist Assistant Secretary Newland went to the tribe uh, to see how we could assist in, in moving a resolution to the issue, and I know that we all want it to be resolved. I would just close with this, Mr. Chairman. The um, Lac du Flambeau tribal chairman was here just a month ago before the Appropriations Committee, and he said the Bureau of Indian Affairs has failed both the tribe and the local community. His words, not mine. I'm hoping the Bureau of Indian Affairs will get their act together on this issue. I yield back. Well, the time has expired, the chair recognizes